The fourth pillar is um, new programs. One of the key aspects of the new program is a five-year pilot for uh, a winter youth leadership development program. So this is for young people between the age of 17 and 30. Every summer, we hire between 15 and 20 young people. They're here for the summer, and then we have a very tearful goodbye on Labor Day weekend. Everybody goes home, they go back to school. Except there's a couple of people who don't go back to school. They actually hang around and they don't want to leave. They've been powerfully affected by the community that they've experienced here, and they want to stay. When they're not, in, they're not enrolled in post-secondary education, uh, because they don't have a vision for themselves and their future. They're smart enough to know that they shouldn't be going into debt to pursue something they're not committed to, but they don't have a direction. When I ask them where they're going to go, they say they're going to go home. When I ask them what they're going to do, they reply quite honestly and say probably play video games. Those are some of the people that I'm trying to create this program for. It's a program uh, focused on vocational discernment, on personal development, on spiritual development, with a cross-cultural component. I think we can do this in partnership with others, and I've approached the Primates Fund of the Anglican Church, the uh, World Relief and Development Fund, uh, uh, to see if they'd be interested in partnership, and their answer has been unequivocal. Yes, when you're ready uh, to move this forward, please call us. We'd like to be partners in this. I've approached local uh, Rotary clubs, and uh, Rotary clubs are organizations that have a long history of involvement with young people and education. And I've told them the story and uh, they've been very enthusiastic about it. And they've said to me, when you're ready, come speak to us. Recently, I was speaking to a network of retreat centers. It's an international network of retreat centers. The retreat center leader said, uh, when it comes to an international partnership, cross-cultural dimension, uh, we could be approaching uh, retreat centers around the world in terms of giving opportunities for young people to go to different places to learn um, different cultures and have different experiences. So we have multiple uh, possible partnerships already and we haven't even fleshed out the program yet. Uh, so people are very excited about this.